Hey there, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the Charlestown, Mass. condo market update for the week ending January 26. And in the past week, there's been three new properties come on the market, four went under agreement, and three that sold. So let's take a look here at the condos that came on the market. We have 7 Trenton Street, which is a traditional looking um, condo in Charlestown. It is a bi-level unit, two bedroom, two bath. It's on the market for $439. Um, trying to identify where the location of the units are, if it's the first floor and the basement, or the first floor and the second floor, being it is that being that it is unit one. And this might tell us that uh, this could be the, since it is a bi-level unit, the basement might be the um, on the lower floor because I don't see any windows here. And here's the second bedroom and there's windows there. So quite possibly, but I haven't been in the unit so we can't say for certain. Then we got 19 Monument Street, which look at those floors. Wow, those are gorgeous. So isn't the granite. This is a duplex as well. Uh, two bedroom, two bath. Uh, we do have uh, an asking price of 479 and it has a private uh, roof deck. That's off the master suite and it has in laundry in laundry unit. It's about 1,255 square feet and uh, on for 479,000. Just came on the market. One uh, 19 Monument Street unit two. And then we got 21 Chestnut Street for 5345. It's a two bedroom, one bath. Um, we've got uh, it's really right down in the middle of Charlestown. It's 1,168 square feet and we got the top floor is that you can tell what the dormer windows are here. So that is the unit two, and let's see if it's a, it's a two level, so it, um, it would be uh, this unit right here, this level right here, and this level for 534.5 right in the Gaslight District. Um, no condo fee, so it looks like the, um, they might be splitting the master insurance with, uh, with the uh, the unit below them. Now, here we go. Here's one, one under agreement. 84 Bunker Hill Street, 179. This is a bank-owned property. It's been on a while. I've highlighted this before. It's assessed for 254. It was on the market for 18 days since it became a bank-owned property. 700 square feet, two bedroom, one bath. Someone's going to get a good deal there. We got 60 Baldwin's, a two bedroom, one bath, and look how pretty this is. It's a pottery barn feel. Um, has a gorgeous kitchen and uh, two bedrooms, one bath, and has a lower level um, yeah, separate, I'm not sure how you get to it, but there's a separate lower level area that's probably great for entertaining or watching football games or movies or um, just having a party to get together. We got 60, um, 85 High Street, Unit 1, which is a complete conversion renovation of a uh, urban townhouse style property. It's 1,400 square feet. It's two and a half bathrooms. You get three bedrooms. You get the you get the master suite. Check out this kitchen. You got this gorgeous cabinetry. You got the wine fridge, the stainless steel um, refrigerator. You got the range and microwave. Unfortunately, there's just one picture, but um, I'd love to see more. I'm sure you would too. It's got crown molding and a floor plan that has the option to have a formal living area and a separate uh, home theater room which is fantastic um, obviously to have uh, have uh, you know another room like we just previewed in that other property for uh, entertaining watching the football game the Super Bowl whatever you'd like and then we got 52 Constellation Wharf went under agreement at 939 and fifth did it took 50 days and these are great. It's for this building right here, and um, you got one deeded parking spot. This is two units, um, two levels of living space. It's almost 2,000 square feet. And check it out. We have views from the bedroom here. We have this gorgeous kitchen with stainless steel, granite, and cherry cabinetry. We have um, hardwood floors in the sunken living room. You can see the one step here to the living room, and you have the dining room uh, above that. Um, just really cool layouts with these properties and you have obviously awesome water views you can take the water taxi over into town if you work in Boston and uh, enjoy enjoy sitting out there in the summertime 
or the winter time, whatever you'd like. We got 402 Bunker Hill Street. Now we're in the sole properties. This is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. And um, it, I think it is a. Yeah, it's a two levels, and the lower level has the two bedrooms. So this is grade, the kitchen and uh, the kitchen and the living room. Below grade are the bedrooms. So those are located. You can't see the, really the windows. I don't think they have the what unit level each is on. So that's my assumption. We got 20 Alston Street. It's a two bedroom, two full bath for 390. This looks like it was just renovated as well. You got a nice gas burning stove, and you have the granite and the nice wide pine floors. And this is really a gorgeous layout here. Got the dining room as well. It's uh, almost a thousand square feet. And uh, these bedrooms look to be a little bit below grade as well as those windows are high. That's all right. There's plenty of light here. And um, it is. It's got a private patio, fenced in yard. Master Street has exposed beams and an ensuite bath and walk-in closet so that was probably what we were looking at just a really nicely staged well done unit on the market for 83 days and it's sold for 390 after being on the market for 419 and then we got 34 mystic street and this is obviously a gorgeous unit almost 1600 square feet three bed two bath duplex gorgeous kitchen with the vent nice granite uh, nice cabinetry and you see the private deck off the kitchen and here's the dining room living room that's it, just two photos, unfortunately. But uh, it's about, let's see, it took 16 days. Well, let's find out. 139, maybe it switched. It expired at 529, they put it back on at 500 and sold 16 days later for 485, so good for them. Uh, and adjusting whatever they needed to adjust. Um, let's see if this property was a multifamily at one point. Yeah, it sold in May of 2008 for 550, and then he sold the other units for. Let's see here. 415, 412, and 500 in uh, less than a year. So that totals 817 plus 5, 1.3 million minus the 550 is. Uh, ooh, is uh, 750,000 minus his cost to do the work. It left him with his profit minus taxes and. Looks like it was a good project for somebody to keep uh, keep busy and make some money. So let's throw in all the condos in Charlestown to see which was trending this week. All right, so now that we got everything up here, we have an average asking price of 457 and a market time of four months and 10 days. There's 85 listings. And what happened this week was the average list price was five. 34 with a market time of 86 days so uh, if you look within the under agreements the more affluent properties the pricier properties actually took less time than the stuff that was uh, 419 and under we got 419 we took 132 days to go under agreement and the bank owned uh, for 179 took 115 days so that's interesting to see and then the solds we have a market time of 139 days and the average sales price of 389 so what we're looking at here is um, the average sales price this week of 387 took a little bit longer than the asking price of the uh, days on market for the actives despite the fact that the sales price was a little bit less which is all right to see um, it is uh, it brings to your attention what's going on and some of the more uh, pricier stuff might be taken a little bit quicker and that is the case for some of these under agreements that is the charlestown mass uh, market update for condos stay tuned next week we're going to have january 2011 versus january 2010 versus january uh, december 2010 i hope you enjoy it we'll see you soon